cry of the limpkin is a sound many Floridians have become familiar with. A visit to many of our state's freshwater habitats will give you opportunity to see and or hear this peculiar bird. That wasn't the case until recently. When I moved to Tallahassee in 2004, limpkins were hard to find in this corner of Florida. They're very common here now, and can be found easily. They're being spotted in new places for this first time as well. Why? Historically, limpkins diet consisted mostly of Florida apple snails and freshwater mussels. For a variety of environmental reasons, our native apple snails declined, and so did the limpkins. Less food equals fewer birds. That changed when an exotic apple snail from South America was introduced to Florida. This is one of those introduced apple snails. Limpkins love them. This new food source spread, and limpkin numbers increased. So what happened to our native apple snails? Unfortunately, water quality isn't as high in some of our freshwater habitats, and our native snails declined as a result. For example, limpkins were once common at Wakulla Springs. In his book Wild America, Roger Tory Peterson wrote about his visit to the springs in 1953. Here at the spring the limpkins have absolute security and have become so conspicuous that no tourist leaves without seeing at least one. There are about 25 pairs along two miles of river. There are very few native apple snails along the Wakulla River these days, and very few limpkins as a result. But 25 miles to the north, in Tallahassee, limpkins are super common. The exotic apple snail, which can survive in any fresh water, clean or dirty, is super common too. You can see their pink bubblegum eggs everywhere on plants and structures around our city's retention ponds, lakes and stormwater creeks. My favourite eBird hotspots for finding limpkins are Lake Henrietta, Martha Wellman Park, and Crowder Landing on Lake Jackson. I saw 27 limpkins there one morning. As the exotic apple snail continues to thrive and spread, limpkins will too. Records in areas where limpkins were once rare or absent are increasing. They're even breeding in Georgia now. Who knows where they'll show up next? Alabama? South Carolina? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. Next time on Limey Birder.